So I got my hair pinned up, my awesome Chinese vintage robe on, and I'm gathering my clothes for my vacation. When I pack for vacation, I like to pick clothes that are in neutral colors. Not only because it makes it easier for me to decide what to wear, but neutrals are a little bit easier to match with different accessories and shoes. When I'm deciding what I want to wear on vacation, I think about my colorway first. So what exactly is a colorway? A colorway is a variation of one certain color. Here I'm thinking about going with maybe neutrals. So I'm going to pick out caramels, tans, browns, whites, creams, different versions of a neutral color. Sometimes I might want to mix things up, so I might grab a blue or a black and just decide later on which way I want to go. But it's really great to have in your mind a color way so you have a vision and an ability to narrow down exactly what you want to bring on your trip. That prevents overpacking and taking up unnecessary room in your suitcase. Now that I've chosen all my clothing items, let's lay them out and get ready to pack. Here I'm using my Benefit duffel bag, which was a gift from my sister. Thanks, sis. So, we're going to pack a exercise outfit or an outfit that you can wear during hiking or adventures. What I like to do is roll all of my items. That is the best way to pack and fit everything in your bag so that it doesn't wrinkle. So you want to roll your outfits together. I'm rolling the t-shirt and yoga pants that I would wear as one outfit together and putting them in the bottom of my duffel bag. Now let's move on to jeans and jean shorts. All three of these items all came from Old Navy. The white jeans are skinny jeans, so are the blue, and the jean shorts are Old Navy boyfriend jeans. I'm rolling them from the bottom up and placing them into the duffel bag in the same fashion. I like to put the jeans on the bottom of the duffel bag just because the material is a little bit more dense and can stand a little bit more of movement, shuffling around of the bag. This duffel bag will be my carry-on for my trip this weekend, and so I want to make sure that I have everything lined in place perfectly. So since the material of jeans are is a little bit more durable, I like to put that on the bottom of the bag. These Old Navy shorts are pretty much my staple. I wear them almost every week during the summer, so they go with me everywhere. These are my favorite neutral dresses and skirts. This skirt is a leather caramel skirt that I bought at a boutique in Hollywood on Melrose. I'm sorry I can't remember the name of it, but I did get this skirt on sale for about $25. So I'm rolling this skirt lengthwise. Oh gosh, let's try it again. Maybe I shouldn't go lengthwise. Oh, I'll fold it in half. Then I'll roll from the bottom. Now again, this leather material is very durable, so I'm putting that on top of the jeans. Next let's move on to cottons. This white dress came from a vintage store um, called Ultra Betty. The store unfortunately closed, but this is one of my favorite summer dresses. It's perfect, it's lightweight, and has beautiful little flowers over it. And what I like to do is fold it over on itself into quarters and then roll from the bottom. Again, this does prevent wrinkles and gives me so much space in my duffel bag to just keep adding more things in there. This is one of my favorite summer skirts. It is a sheer mint green skirt that I bought actually downtown Los Angeles in the Fashion District um, for around $30. I'll fold it over on itself in the same fashion that I folded the white vintage dress into fours and I will roll. Now because this fabric is very delicate I want it in the middle of the duffel bag so that it is protected from the bottom and the top. This cotton dress is from a boutique in the Venetian Hotel um, in Las Vegas and I also got it on sale for about I think $18. 
again, I'm going to fold it into fours. And we're going to start rolling. The tuck and roll is what I like to call this method. And you notice that all of my, my neutrals and my items that I've chosen all fall in the same category of colors as far as colorway. And there's one pop of color with my coral shirt. Now this jean shirt I got from Forever 21. And I don't really care if it gets wrinkled. And I have to be honest with you guys, I don't really iron. I don't really care about things being super wrinkled. But I will fold this over on itself and roll like I did my other items. Again, everything is pretty much a neutral. But I'm a girl who loves a little color in her life. So I grabbed this pop of color. This shirt came from Express. It was a Christmas gift from my beautiful sister who also gifted me the Benefit duffel bag that I'm using. And this shirt um, is really lightweight and even though it is a pop of color it goes well with pretty much everything I can wear this with the dark blue jeans the white jeans I can even wear it with the jean shorts so again folding it over on itself and rolling and tucking it and we're gonna place that in the duffel bag on top of the dresses so the jeans and the leather when at the bottom the dresses and cottons in the middle and then it blouses on top isn't this such a beautiful blouse I got this from forever 21 I love the cape style of the blouse and the tassels that are um, hanging in the middle so again I'm gonna fold this over itself and roll it and tuck it we're gonna place that next to the coral blouse and this last blouse is a white neutral I love it has gold detail in the buttons and on the bottom of the tassels I got this shirt from H&M it was around $20 and I will just fold it over on itself and I'm gonna tuck and roll and add that into the duffel bag see how simple and fast it is now I'm completely packed for the weekend and you just throw your other items in there as well we're not done folks we're gonna keep going but I wanted to get a close-up of this bag because it's super adorable it's lined with black on the inside and there are actual pockets on the inside and it has this cute little benefit logo on the front and I love the coral straps it has two small straps and a longer strap and you would throw your underwear in on top and you would go So after you've thrown your underwear into the pockets of your bag, you are going to move on to shoes. Now let's talk shoes. This black pair came from H&M, so did the brown pair. They were both around $10 each. These thong sandals came from Forever 21, they are about $5. And this awesome kit is a 9 piece women on the go travel set that I got from Target. It has a shaver, it has a toothbrush, toothpaste, lotion, it also has deodorant, um, and a comb and they are all carry-on approved sizes this was about nine dollars at Target and I suggest you buy that um, it's really simple easy to pack so let's put that on the inside of our bag and we'll put that on the line on the inside line of our bag these Dr. Scholl's inserts were about six dollars and they came with a pack of two um, I love them I put them in almost all of my shoes and what I'm doing here is showing you how easy they are to remove and to put in your other shoes. So let's throw the thong sandals, which are going to be great for being around the pool, on the inside of the bag. Kind of fluff everything up. You want to grab your shoes and you want the sole side up because you don't want any dirt to get on your shoes. I mean, I'm sorry, on your clothes. <laughs> so now that those are in, let's grab the black flats. And let's put those in and you notice that I chose shoes in neutral colors again I can wear them with everything a black fat flat a brown flat and a black thong sandal is perfect you throw it in on top grab your awesome duffel bag and you go how easy was that So let's pack a suitcase because 
frankly, some of us might have so much stuff that it's not going to fit in this duffel bag. And you're like, girl, get that duffel bag out of here. So let's pack our luggage case. Packing a luggage case does give us more options and we are able to add more items, but be aware you need to check your airline's website and check for baggage fees. Okay, let's get started. This luggage is really sentimental. Um, my parents gave it to me. I really love it. I've taken it all over the world and it can fit a lot. It's pretty deep. It's lined. It has pockets on the inside and outside. It has a handle and four wheels. So let's get started. We are going to add the same amount of clothes that I had before. All I'm doing is putting them in a single file line on the bottom of the luggage case and I'm adding the other items on top. So what I'm creating is kind of an upstairs downstairs effect. Downstairs I have the shirts and blouses, upstairs I have the jeans, the skirt, and I have my workout outfit. So as you can see, we have the whole other half of our luggage completely empty and we can add more items. Okay, so I wanted to just go back for a second um, with the white jeans. I forgot to tell you guys this tip earlier. When you are going to pack white or light colored items and you're worried about them getting dirty, inside out. That's how you keep them from getting dirty. Turn them inside out, okay? So you're going to take your pant legs, turn them inside out, fold them over on each other and repeat our same roll and tuck before placing the jeans into your luggage. I forgot to mention that earlier and noticed that after I watched this back and I wanted to make sure that I got that tip in because when you're packing white, it can be really scary and you know that your stuff's gonna get thrown around so just flip it inside out and you know that you're protected. So we've already added our clothes to the bag. I wanted to show you that I've thrown in some more items. These Steve Madden heels I got from Nordstrom's, a perfect neutral that go with everything. And these tennis shoes for hiking and exercising. Remember, our Dr. Scholl inserts can be moved to any pair of shoes that we want, even our heels, to protect ourselves while we're walking around or dancing the night away. I've also added two sun hats, which are very self-explanatory, to protect our face and skin from the sun. So let's continue packing. All right, clothes on one half, shoes on the other. I'm going to put the tennis shoes down first in the bag. I like to put them down first because they are kind of like the dirtiest and the sturdiest, so they go on the bottom. Now, I like to put a plastic bag in between my layers of shoes, again, to protect the shoes from getting messed up when the bag's tossed around because this is a bag that will be checked and to protect my clothes so no dirt from the bottom of my shoes will transfer onto my clothes. So we're gonna put the heels in first. And now we're going to put in the neutral flats. And again, I'm adding another piece of plastic, putting the sandals in and putting the flats on top again. The plastic will be a great liner. You can also just go ahead and put your shoes in a plastic bag. I just didn't want any moisture to collect um, on my shoes, which is why I didn't actually put them inside the plastic bag. So our travel piece kit, remember nine piece kit from Target, I highly recommend you buying that. And our two sun hats. Now I chose to put the sun hats on top because the materials that they're made of, I'm not really worried about them getting smushed or messed up in any way. The fedora is made out of straw so it can just kind of be smushed, thrown around and I'm not too worried about it whatsoever. See, I can just go ahead and smush it and pop it right back. So it's really good to put your hats on top. If you are worried about the shape of your hats, I suggest rolling up newspaper and putting it inside your hats. That will be able to protect your hat's shape, it will keep its form, and you don't have to be worried about it when it's getting thrown around there. But I just wanted to show you guys how easily these just pop right back into shape, even though they've been folded in the bag. 
Now that we've packed our main essentials, we can move on to our accessories. These are mine and of course I like to lay them out and I also kept them in the same neutral colors with one pop of color as you see there with the pinks. <laughs> so this is my favorite bathing suit. I got this from Victoria's Secret. I love the seashell in the middle. Um, the color is a mint green, it's a great neutral and it looks great on every skin tone. These aviator sunnies are Betsy Johnson. I got them from JCPenney. This is my hair scarf. Um, I got it in Hawaii and I honestly can't remember how much it cost because I was in the 8th grade when I got it. <laughs> These are my underwear. I like to pack 3 bikinis and 2 thongs. These are my neutral bras, cream and black, and then a black strapless bra. This is my copper tone sunscreen which you can get at Target. My goodie hairbrush, also from Target. This is my lotion. This is my shea butter which I put into a little plastic container that I got from like the 99 cent store. I'd rather carry that than try and lug around a big jar of shea butter or lotion. The top is very secure. I've traveled with it before. As you can see it's almost empty and it has never opened. But if you're worried, put a rubber band around it. These are my hair ties, hair clips, and bobby pins. I like to put them in a Ziploc bag so they're neat and I know that they're not going to go flying out everywhere. Um, the Ziploc bags I got from the 99 cent store. And the hair clips, the bobby pins, and the hair ties are all goodie brand, which I got from Target. So it's really good to store your little items like this, even like nail polishes, um, if you have lipsticks or anything, it's really good to put them in a Ziploc bag. So you can see what you have, the airline can see what you have, and you don't have to take anything out and open it. Now, I want to put a disclaimer on this. This copper tone and my Fructis style bamboo hairspray, which I love and is from Target, are not regulation size for carry-on. Okay, so if you are deciding to carry on your luggage, you cannot bring these full sizes of copper tone and the Garnier Fructis bamboo hairspray you will have to get many sizes. And the reason why I have a Ziploc bag on top of my Garnier Fructis hairspray is because I lost the top. <laughs> All right, let's pack. So we're on the home stretch, guys. All of our summer essentials have been packed in the bottom as far as our clothes, our hats, and our travel kit. So this liner pocket is completely empty and ready for the rest of our things. This is where I'm going to put my bras, underwear, I'm going to add my bathing suit, hair essentials, and lotion. Remember, the full size containers of my Garnier Fructis hairspray and my Copper Tone sunscreen are only full size because this bag is being checked. If you're using it as a carry-on, you have to use approved travel size options of sunscreen and hairspray. So, everything's packed. Now, we have these outside pockets that are completely empty and ready to use. So let's close this up and I'll show you the cool pockets that are on the outside. The top pocket actually has a larger pocket and then a smaller pocket on top of that. So there are two extra pockets there that you can put your cell phone chargers or any other essentials that you feel that you might want to put inside or just leave them open so you can put all your souvenirs and gifts for others inside oh those flowers are for a project that i had anyways i hope that this video helped and i hope that you gained a lot of knowledge and tips if there's any other questions that you have please feel free to ask i love talking about traveling and i hope that this helped have fun this summer guys